Welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be in the customer service hub in Dynamics 365. And we're going to go over how we, when we create cases in the system, how we can also create queues and assign those cases to queues. But then if we want to even help ourselves and kind of automate that process, we can set up routing rules that will automatically assign cases to specific queues. So we're going to go through those steps today. And so what we want to do is we want to come up here into the advanced settings option. And now we're going to click this drop down and we're going to come here to the service management and we're going to click queues. And so we're going to create our queue by selecting new and you can set this up to whatever is going to make more sense. Um, there's going to be many different ways that you can create queues and organize your cases um, so you can work through them effectively with specific users. But what we're going to do just for this video is we're going to do cases that come from Utah Jazz. We have Utah Jazz in as a customer in the system. So we're going to save this and we're going to approve the email. And this allows this queue to be pushed through into the front end of the system. And so for example, when I come here back to the front end, and if I create a new case, we will say, hey, we got the wrong season tickets, right? We accidentally ordered the wrong ones, whatever. We assign the customers Utah Jazz, right? We save this. Now I can come up to the to the top of this and click add to queue and I can look up the queues that I have in the system. And so the one that we just created was cases from Utah Jazz. And if I add that, it's going to send this case right into that queue. So if I come to queues and come, hey, cases from Utah Jazz, I'm going to see, hey, wrong season tickets is a case within here that has not been resolved yet. Now, if I want to um, speed that process up a little bit and set up routing rules to help me, um, if I'm in here creating cases all day long, right, I can do that by going back to the advanced settings, coming here and going back to service management, and I can click routing rule sets. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to create a new one. And we're going to call it the same thing, right? Cases from Utah Jazz. <clears throat> and save that. Now, once I save it, I can come over here. And this is where I can define my criteria for what defines this routing rule to assign it to a specific queue. So I can give this guy a name. Cases from Utah Jazz. And then here is where I can set my criteria where case, let's say case customer equals, right? And then I can look up whatever customer I have in my system, Utah Jazz, select them, and then add it. And now I want to make sure right here it's saying routing to queue. I can also route to a specific user or team, um, but we're gonna do queues, right? And so if I do queue, I can look up which queue I want it to go to, cases from Utah Jazz, and then I can save and close this. And so what we did was we just established if the case customer equals Utah Jazz, assign it to this queue when I click the save and route button, which I'm gonna show you how to do right now. And so once I activate this, Again, it'll push it to the front end. That way we can actually use it when we're in the system. So if I come back to the front end, I'll refresh, let the system catch up. And so if I create a new case and say, you know, wrong jersey. And I look up Utah Jazz, assign this as the customer, right? That's our logic right there. So when I save and route this, it is automatically going to push that to the right queue that I have the logic established to.
So I'll click yes route. There we go. When I go to the queues, we're gonna see what happens. I come to the cases from Utah Jazz and there it is, wrong jersey. So that is how you can come in and assign a case to a queue manually or how you can do it by setting up routing rules within your system. Super simple process, I hope this helps. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and thank you so much for watching our video.